Hello there, you beautiful people. Today, once again, we are reviewing a amazing kit from Inera Plus, the Aurora. This kit is so special, so beautiful, so magnificent, so prestige. I mean, if you're going to have one kit in your life, then that's the kit. That or the Judge or the PG Unleashed. This one is a real beautiful special kit and I was really surprised with the quality uh, of the plastic and how easy and beautiful it was to build it. And I did some custom painting. Uh, basically everything that is not white or blue or see-through I painted. So let's check out the unboxing. And here is the unboxing. Look at that beautiful box. Aurora Imperial Dawn Night. The illustration on the front looks pristine. On the side, on the other side, a lot of information and some poses and some choking hazards uh, here. A real beautiful and big box. Uh, high quality, really nicely made. And this is the inside. You have that beautiful, beautiful gold. Such nice quality and your dark blues and your other golds and look at that beautiful uh, blue that marine blue everything every plastic every single plastic on this kit it's high quality and the color is amazing and i and i have never seen such beautiful clear parts look at that pink and that yellow and that uh, blue I mean it's a it's an expensive kit don't get me wrong uh, it's around 100 I paid 120 euros for this kit but the quality of the plastic and general quality of the product amazing and look at that you have two not one but two uh, stickers and water slides in case you in case you mess up the first one you have a second one to fix your mistakes so I mean I have never seen that in a kit and this is the manual the manual look at that it's colored you have a colored manual everything so detailed uh, with some story and some gimmicks and some poses and a water slide map and the illustration the pose on the back I mean what can I say for this kid oh wait look at that shit you have a metallic frame and look how beautiful that metallic frame looks that white plastic that shiny gold that metallic uh, that metal gold looks like real gold it looks like and it's heavy too and uh, it looks like it's an expensive a very very expensive kit but it's not that it's 120 euros don't get me wrong but still it's not a perfect great expensive kit and look at that pose look at that beautiful metal metal frame is so beautiful and everything is so shiny amazing quality once again you get more than you paid for and this is the finish build without any panel lining or decals and it looks so clean and so beautiful I was amazed look how shiny it is and the build process oh my god the build process was so smooth no problems at all and every time you finish a part of the build 
You see it up close and it looks so beautiful. And the plastic, ugh, oh, once again, the plastic, it's so good. So nice. And I painted a lot of little details on this kit and it came up so beautiful. And this is the part of the weapon, the back part. That lance is so magnificent. I wish the back end was a little bit longer, but that's okay. So let's check out some articulation. The back fins move uh, front and back, and I painted that part there metallic uh, blue. At this point, everything is panel lined, and I applied almost all the decals, so it looks a lot better. The front fin moves up and down, real beautiful. You have a nice bent knee, it's a little bit stiff. You have to work it a little bit, you have to apply some pressure, but still, look how beautiful it moves. Here's the other knee too. Real nice. The, the front of the skirt moves also, and I painted that front metallic blue also, it came up real nice. And I painted also metallic green, that small part over there. And I painted metallic green also that part over there. And everything looks so nice, so shiny. And those water slides uh, looks really nice. It does, it, they don't look like stickers, they look like they were painted on the plastic. Such nice quality and very easy to apply. And here's the side skirts, uh, I don't know, funnels, uh, uh, boosters, I don't know what to call them. But they move really, really nicely, really nice articulation on them. You can pull them back, uh, pull them down, up, left and right, they are connected to a, uh, connected to a bow point, they can move, and I painted that part inside also blue, here is a better look of the thruster, the side skirt, I painted that metallic uh, Caribbean blue, the th down thruster also, metallic red over there, I painted a lot of details. And that uh, back uh, and the thrusters over there gold, I also did. And the water slides once more really nice. And that see-through part also looks amazing. Have you ever seen better looking thrusters than, than this one? I don't think so. Look how nice they look. That front guard moves up and down also, nice detail. The hands move in a 360 degrees and the thumb is connecting, uh, connected, connected. You can, you do, you, you want, you, you can do so, you, you do, you can, you, you want, you want them. Elbow moves up and down freely. It's a little bit stiff, but uh, that's expected from a metal frame. Back there you can connect uh, your weapon if you like for stability. The arm moves 360 degrees on itself. The shoulders move up and down. Real nice articulation there. And I painted those uh, details also blue and green and that one blue, metallic blue and the shoulder blades also metallic blue that moves up and down, that guard over there I painted, uh, painted that blue also looks really nice The shoulders also move uh, in and out, 
left and right. In general, really nice articulation on this kit. And the head moves up and down really nicely without any effort. Look at that head movement, how free it, it is and how long you can stretch. And it can move in a 360 degrees also. And you have that back uh, guard that moves up and down also. Nice small detail. Look how beautiful that head looks. So magnificent, so majestic. The waist moves left and right really nicely. And back and forth. A really nice up movement there. Look at that. Isn't that nice? The back skirt uh, moves up and down. Nice detail. And it looks really nice too. And I painted uh, those pipes there metallic green. Look how beautiful they look with that metallic green. And I painted those front uh, exhausts also Caribbean blue. I did a lot of small detail on this kit and it looks really nicely. And those see-through parts, they look so good. The see-through plastic looks amazing. And here is the lance, the beautiful majestic lance with uh, those uh, water slides decals, those gold de decals. Looks really nice. I, I painted that uh, metallic blue, by the way, but everything else looks so pristine. Once again, I wish the back end, the back gold end was a little bit longer, but still look how beautiful it looks. What a beautiful lance. And that is the back end of the lance. The handle part and it looks like a cockpit. Like a jet cockpit. And that uh, gold and uh, see-through plastic, the blue, looks so nice. And you have those small details there that canister down below and you have that this blade or whatever this is a weapon or a blade I don't, I'm not sure which looks really nice and you can attach that right there like so and it looks really nice amazing and watch this you can move those parts like that and you can shove the whole lance inside the cockpit, the jet cockpit and you can latch it with those parts over there like so and this is the whole lance uh, weapon and looks amazing look at that crazy crazy weapon in era did it right, did it... Inera, it's amazingly good. Sometimes better than Bandai in some kits. Like this kit over here. And this is the backpack. The most beautiful backpack I have ever seen. Look at the colors. Look at the water slides. I also painted um, that green detail uh, on the vents there. I also painted green. La right there and it looks amazing the water slides look that like they were painted and that part goes up and down really nicely the, the lower part also moves up and down I painted all the details inside red as, as you can see red and blue and the red, red on the thrusters came up really nice. Uh, 
and I painted red inside, red and blue inside there too. And in those thrusters also. Painting all these small details make made the kit look so much better and I painted that part also blue and the wings moves left and right up and down really nice articulation I painted that also metallic green once again up and down left and right really nice articulation on the wings and they look so good so good and you have those small fins up there they they can move up and down also a small detail but a small detail really makes the, uh, the difference the see-through parts look really nice look how beautiful they are and the color contrast uh, looks amazing and these are the clear parts the effect parts and I have never seen so beautiful effect parts before and you can attach it to the knee part right over there you take out that small knee part you move the handle take out the handle like that look how beautiful they designed it you you pull it out then you take that small the first small effect part which looks really nice on in pink and you attach it right there like so and you take the bigger one and you attach it from behind look how beautiful it is once more and you attach it behind right there and it makes that beautiful weapon look how beautiful it looks and such a nice quality also the effect part look look amazing looks amazing I really liked it and this is part of the stand you can attach something there and these are the extra parts the extra hands and you have some other extra parts that you are left with and I never figured out where this part goes it looks really nice but I really don't know where it goes and these are the extra parts that uh, you can attach instead of the see-through parts so for whatever reason if you don't like the see-through blue parts you can use the white ones isn't that nice you have an option and that's the back plate that goes on the stand you have two choices you can go with the illustration or the simple aurora which is really nice and here is the stand with uh, two other small stands for your lance and looks amazing once again the stands from uh, Inera are really really nice I forgot to show you you can take off the shoulder blade right there and you take out that see-through part that effect part and you can attach it to the shoulder blade and it's another weapon isn't that nice it looks so beautiful once again beautiful and pristine that's the theme and those are the extra water slides that I'm left with I used almost all the stickers the stickers are thin but nice they are not too bad and the decals are amazing they are that gold uh, matte color 
and they look so nice. Let me show you on a light here. I don't you I don't know if you can see, but they are really really top notch quality. And there you have it, the majestic Aurora and the full lens. Uh I don't have any more words for this kit. I mean other than the Judge and the RX 78-2 Unleashed, perfect grade, this is my other favorite kit so far. It looks magnificent, the quality is top notch, a lot of gimmicks, a lot of weapons, the gold and the white and the marine blue or I don't know what uh, blue that is is so beautiful it's so beautifully designed and made and that lance oh my god that lance and that backpack i have zero negative to say about this kit which is rare for a third party kit let me remind you this is not a bandai kit this is inera plus kit which inera makes a really nice kit so far like the thunderbolt and the genesis inera is really far ahead uh, with some nice kits sometimes better than bandai and not all kits come with stands but in our inera kits all of them come with this white stand which is really nice because it's a really nice stand but anyhow, this kit, once again, it's amazing, I really recommend it, it's a little bit uh, expensive, yeah, it's uh, 120 euros I paid for it once more, but look how beautiful it is, and it has a lot of little details, and by the way, it's uh, bigger, bigger than normal uh, Master Grade, it's around 23 centimeters, I think it's uh, really big and with the lance it's even bigger so there you have it if you're going to buy uh, by the way look at that nice leg have you ever seen a nicer leg than that and with that gray, uh, gray panel lining that i did and the water slides look amazing once more the stand gives you the option to attach the weapons on the side like that look at that isn't that amazing but anyway as you can see i can talk all day about this kit so there you have it if you're going to buy one kit in your life consider this one or the judge or the pg unleashed so thank you for watching uh, next week we have a retro classic bandai kit uh, so stay tuned if you want to see my custom build on this and please consider subscribing or, or liking this video or both so i can bring you more kits thank you and see ya